make sure to speak my loud enough. Is this good? Speak louder? Yeah. yeah. Alright, good. Right. Did I spook you with my probing, skeptical eyes that saw through every one of your sickly sweet lies? Did it bother you that I could stand my ground in the presence of an opposing sound? My strength you abhorred and wished and said that I would keep you bored and that I could be spoken to with ease while your hardest tries barely pleased. Did it scare you that I fell into the depths of your soul and crawled out alive from that pitch black hole? I know more about you than anyone in the world, and it was all divulged on request, like tired, unused wings unfurled by the stirring at dawn of a sly, glossy crow. These are all things that, with little difficulty, I came to know. Your past does not scare me, nor your fi- dear- <clears throat> Your past does not scare me, nor your demons or fairies. This fantastical place of your creation, where everything is of your imagination, and maturity is a good job, a big house, a ditzy wife, is no way to live a life. You ignore the amazing people, and you're missing out. You may think you're so important, but you I can do without. Your words, sure they hurt, and your ugly borrowed rehearsed speech so curt. But now I see you as no more than a husk, a shell, hiding nothing within, bleached by the sun and crumbling to dust. Worst of all, it continues to smile, even as it watches its own murder trial. Um.